Welcome to Smart Villa Life. Here we talk about convenient home automation and my smart house I will show you. Today we will talk about the uh, homey desktop client and I show you everything that's available to you to uh, do and access using this one. Uh, it will be a little bit longer video today so stay, stay tuned. Uh, I will go through a lot of things like devices and zones. I will go through uh, music, uh, the settings of the homey, uh, insights, basically all the data you have collected. I will show you that. And best of all, I will show you uh, the flows, that, that the things that actually trigger something and, and so on. I have gone through a lot of it in my previous videos, but this will be, I uh, will cover it all uh, so, so you will see a little bit more, more of uh, what's available and uh, go into detail a little, little bit more. So that's it. Let's get going because uh, we have a lot to go through today. Here is Homey desktop client. I just installed it. Here you can see Homey. So I have just logged in with my, my account. You need to log in to the same account uh, on the App Store if you want to install apps and such. And here you have a link for the App Store and uh, the account and my Homies and my phones and so on. And then you can uh, go into the Homey. And you will get into this view. Here is the view when you control your home, basically. And uh, here we can see all my devices uh, uh, categorized in different zones. I have basically done rooms and, and such. Uh, uh, and I have then I have the home and I have just a collection of things that doesn't belong to any specific room, so to say. Um, if we go into the living room, I have most devices in that one. Uh, here's a lot of devices. For example, there's the home, some smart plugs, uh, some uh, pendants, and some devices uh, by the TV. And we have a door sensor. Yeah, that's it about in the living room. And you can add more devices and you can look on the device, for example, here, uh, get some information about that device, what's going on, and you can turn it on and turn it uh, turn it off and on. Let's see a little bit about it. Uh, some sensors, for example, they have display more information since they have the main purpose is to report values. And then you can configure device. Here you have a lot of common things that you want to configure it, how it should behave. It's unique to each device and those things are usually set up from the developers who develops the apps for that specific device. And here you have some, you can put in some raw configuration parameters. It basically, then you need to go to the manual and see uh, the hardware parameters basically where you can set the device in a specific mode or if you want it. So it behaves to in a different way. It's not available here in the device specifics. And some node information there, yeah. I don't use that very often, it's, so it's, it's used in special cases. So this is basically the fundamentals of um, your smart home. You add all your devices, each device is connected to an app, and you need to have an app for it to appear here. Yeah, you can create a new zone here, and let's see how you remove a zone. Ah, you just drag it here, and you delete the zone, oh great. Then I learned some, lost something as well. That's that about zones and devices. And basically you use these devices because when you have all your devices, you have named them, you have categorized them and you have everything in order and you have uh, configured them exactly like you want to have them. That's, <laughs> that's an achievement by itself. Uh, then you can use those devices to in flows which is the next section. I have shown this in previous videos but I have not gone in so much detail. Uh, let's say you add a new flow, then uh, you can name the flow, test flow, and in this flow you can add into this pane here you have three segments, when, and, and then. And when is basically what triggers the flow. And you can have a time, then for example you can take time here, and you can use uh, the time is da da, and then you have the and condition. So when this happens and this condition is met, then this will happen. So you can add things here and then it will trigger over here. You can also add or segment, which is neat, and else segment, just like when you're programming. 
anything basically. And when I mean anything, it means that everything on the uh, left pane side, it's the things you can add to flows. They are uh, divided up into three categories, system, see here, apps and devices. System is the one that comes from the homey. You have a lot of things in the homey which you can use and utilize, uh, which is specific. For example, you can uh, increase the speaker volume, the time, uh, trigger a flow, uh, and be triggered by a flow, alarms, NFCs. Uh, you can send a notification to your homey mobiles if you have the homey app. And then you have uh, apps, which is the apps that you have installed from the Atom's Homey uh, app store. And here you can add those to the flows as well. There's a service called If That It Is Then That, E I F T T T. And uh, you can trigger something from that, and tr then a flow in, in the Homey can be triggered by that. So then you need to uh, log into your I F T T T account and trigger something. Or, for example, when we talked about my previous video, you can um, trigger a message to your uh, Telegram message service, which is great. So that's just some examples of what you can do. Uh, then you have all your devices. All the devices that I have here is physical devices and <laughs> uh, virtual devices, which is basic, basically a virtual representation of a device. I will go on and go through that in another video. Uh, then you also have the last category of devices, it's group devices. For example, there's uh, um, an app called Device Groups, which basically groups for uh, a lot of dice devices. If you turn on the group, then we turn on, turn on, on all devices and etc., which is great. For example, here I have a, a group called All Lights. When I turn that off, it turns off All Lights, which is great. Then you don't have to have so many things to keep track of in the then uh, segment here uh, on the uh, right hand side. That's all the things you can add to a flow. So then you basically need to have all these uh, different devices and all these system parameters and apps. Those are the things that you can use. So if you have filled in everything in your uh, device section, then you have them available here and then you can build flows and you can just create a lot of flows. Uh, then you have up here, you have a list of all your flows and you can categorize them into folders uh, for example I have monitoring flows and action flows and uh, you can disable enable flows and, and um, I have about 70 or 80 flows some of them are not working <laughs> so that's about flows uh, one more thing uh, up here you can test a flow you can save a flow cancel delete and duplicate a flow but this is the best part. I, it took me a month to figure this one out. Tags. It's not the tags that you categorize uh, your flows. It's, it's actually uh, variables where you can access outdoors. Here I have the temperature outside, for example. And you can add that temperature to a flow. You can just drag this one into another parameter here uh, or uh, something that's going to be triggered. Uh, which is great. So you can actually have access to all the uh, variables from your different devices, your homey, your apps, um, your devices. So you can use these uh, variables in your flows in a very simple way. This is very open and you have a lot of things to do and play with, which is, allows you to be creative, which is a lot of fun. So I recommend starting using this. Then you have the setting segment. And here on the left hand side, you have uh, system apps uh, section. So here you can configure all your apps uh, that you have installed in your homey. And here is uh, different parameters to your homey and you can configure. And it's basically the settings of the homey and the apps that is installed in the homey. So, so here you uh, configure uh, the entire device. Uh, and here, for example, is the app segment. Here you install, um, you can see all your installed apps and you can, there's a link up here. You can go to the app store and uh, view all the apps that's available. And here you can click if you want an app to be automatically updated. You can restart the app, enable, delete it. So you can see I have installed a lot of things. <laughs> Cause it's so fun. Um, then you have a lot of things. You can configure LED ring. Uh, this is important. Your speaker, what volume you want it to be. I want it to be very high. 
and I try to decrease it when I have specific sounds that I make. Here you can choose your background, uh, Z-Wave devices, so you can remove and reset devices, Zigbee, same here. Then you can control all your apps. Uh, it's I then in individual to each app. Uh, for example, here's my logging. I have all my logs for my uh, Omi. Here I can configure my Telegram bot and so on. Yeah. There's also a music segment. I'm not used that very often. I some flows I trigger some uh, allow Sonos list basically and it it's really nice insights this is really fun uh, if you want to it's great for fault tracing it's basically you can review all the data you have available in your homey for example lights outside uh, here i have my variable which shows when the light is above 500 lux which is uh, light intensity outside then it turns to day uh, it's considered day outside and then i have a val variable which is triggered and turned off and then i trigger my, my flows accordingly and you can do a lot of things here you can add all all your devices here and you have a lot of data on each device and you can check how they have been progressing throughout the day and your energy, energy consumption and uh, lots of things. Uh, but I will cover that more in the future. I think this segment is also developing a lot. So we'll see a lot, a lot of change here. Yeah, that was a lot of things. I just wanted to show you everything in one video so you can have an understanding of what's available to you and all the features that's available in this client and how you can use your home basically. So if you have some uh, questions about uh, something, please leave a comment down below. Or if you have something that you want to me to cover in a future video, uh, something that you saw and how do I do that? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and I will uh, most likely do a video about it if I have not already planned it. Uh, yes, that's about that. If you like this video, please leave it a like. Or if you want more weekly content like this one, please consider to subscribe. Thank you.